Hey what's going on guys, it's Boost HD here and in my previous video I talked all about Adobe Creative Cloud and in that video I also said that I'm going to talk more about Adobe Premiere uh, Pro and it running alongside Movie Studio 12. So uh, I have been using Premiere, uh, the, well the main video I used to edit Premiere on or edited Premiere on um, was the Tech News uh, Episode 3 video that we shot last week Friday and I don't know if you could really notice any difference with any of the um, color correction or anything like that but I did use Adobe Premiere to edit, actually edit that video and of course some of the features are, aren't available uh, since it is run, I'm running the trial version of it so I have to bear that in mind um, but at this moment in time I'm trying to really get my head around its main features and how it compares to Movie Studio 12 I mean at this moment in time I have to say in terms of fast editing uh, I think Movie Studio 12 has that, that slight edge, mainly, I don't know if that's because I know the shortcuts to Movie Studio 12 I need to try and figure out the shortcuts with Premiere Pro uh, but at this moment in time I can definitely say that trying to do fast editing uh, on the fly I think, uh, I think uh, Movie Studio 12 just has that slight edge on the other hand though I'm going to keep on working on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro to try and get my head around completely how all the features work, trying to learn all the shortcuts I mean because I'm trying to, I'm almost trying to juggle the shortcuts with uh, obviously Movie Show 12 and obviously they're not compatible to completely different companies uh, but I'm trying to try and, really trying to get my head around I mean the, the, the layout is pretty similar I have to say uh, in terms of timeline and the peaks and on the actual audio tracks that's pretty much similar uh, but of course there's a lot more features to it as well and of course as well as using Premiere Pro I'm also trying to get my head around After Effects which is even more complicated uh, so I'm going to try and really work those two together and see if I can really come uh, to a final justification so if I do get my head around Premiere Pro eventually uh, maybe that will become my new editing suite uh, if I factor in the uh, rental price that I have to pay uh, for each of the following packages I've said I've downloaded in the previous video uh, I may consider it but again this is me asking what your views are and whether it's worth investing in this well this whole package so now you guys it's been Bruce HD here thank you for watching take care and I'll see you in the next video bye for now